gonna keep going no we don't want to see you against roberto uh, uh guerrero robert guerrero we don't want to see you against anybody and then guess what is the, the road only gets harder the road doesn't get easier beyond ugas you know what i mean i say take ugas to manila pay that man make those adjustments show your greatness be him and then call it a day Errol Spence trainer Derek James thinks after seeing Manny Pacquiao get outboxed by Udinas Ugas that Errol Spence would have stopped Manny Saturday night. Derek James claims that Errol Spence breaks ribs in sparring and he's more of a vicious puncher than Udinas Ugas. Spence is a bigger puncher than Udinas Ugas. I wouldn't say a vicious puncher. He hasn't had a knockout in three years and he usually wears his opponents down. It's an accumulation of punches. And even though I picked Spence to win by decision, I think if Spence did mess up his eye, it would have been a different fight. Because remember, Manny's training camp was tailored for Errol Spence. Then Spence came down with that torn retina, and then they had to get ready for Ugas, what, in 10 days? It seemed like Ugas was training longer for Pacquiao, but that's another story, another video. We'll just say both guys were training for 10 days, it seemed like Ugas was more prepared for Pacquiao than Pacquiao was prepared for him. And I'm not taking anything from Ugas, but what I'm saying is he was more prepared for Errol Spence than Ugas. So we'll be looking at a different fight. Pacquiao was training for the Southpaw. Ugas is orthodox. And I'm about to piggyback on what DT3 said earlier. Ugas is a more defensive, responsible fighter than Spence is. And even though I picked Spence to win by decision, I still think Pacquiao would have been a live dog in that fight. And just because Ugas and Salas came up with an excellent game plan against Pacquiao and executed to the T, it doesn't mean James and Spence could do the same game plan and it will work. Ken Norton Ali had three fights between 1973 and 1976. Ali won the series 2-1. But Ali will admit, Ken Norton was his toughest opponent. In the trilogy fight, some people actually thought Ken Norton won that fight. Ken Norton got a title fight against George Foreman. George Foreman destroyed him less than two rounds. So going to the Ali Foreman fight, they thought Ali was about to get destroyed by Foreman. And Ali ended up knocking out Foreman in eight rounds. Styles makes fights. So the Manny Pacquiao Errol Spence fight would have been a completely different fight. And I agree with Sean Porter. Pacquiao should hang him up. But if he's going to come back for another fight, it should be a rematch with Ugas with a full training camp. Now, most of the comments I saw on the bottom, we all agree, or most of us do agree, that Manny Pacquiao should retire after this fight. But if he came back for one fight, what do you think that fight should be? I think it should be a rematch with Ugas. You tell me what you think. But for some reason, I think it's gonna be a rematch between Ugas and Porter, but we'll see. Also, if Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao fought Saturday night, would Errol Spence stop him? Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions below. JBZ, I'm gone.